Uh, our temperatures were continuing to warm up. The flooding concern growing as well. Here's meteorologist Oga Breeze with your certified most accurate forecast. That's exactly right. I wanted to bring you up to date on the current situation for the Hennes River. We do have our flood stage right now at about 6.3 feet, and that's lower uh, than it was a couple of days ago. But there is still some concern as we warm up uh, through the week. The snowpack will continue to melt. As of right now, the National Weather Service has reduced the trajectory for the forecast for the river flooding. Right now we're kind of holding steady uh, right around that seven foot range. But as we move on in toward the rest of the week, we will continue to see numbers well above where they need to be. So there's still some danger there and the snowpack is very healthy. So the, these concerns are going to continue over the next several months as we move through the spring and in toward the summer with the continuing melting of that snowpack. So let's look at our current situation in and around town. Not too bad. 72 for Silver City, 60s out toward Farmington and for Albuquerque, but 59 right now for Ruidosa, where the winds are pretty healthy at 19 miles per hour. We will continue to see some wind speeds that are near 15, 20 miles per hour into the evening hours, and then we'll dial it back a little bit overnight tonight. A bit of gusting still going on as well, but you can't beat these temperatures. 70s and upper 60s for many of us. Some of us are sitting in the lower 60s. 60s, but it's still been a very comfortable Saturday afternoon. Things will continue to progress overnight. I think the wind gusts will be healthy not only now, but until about 10, 11 o'clock tonight. And then we'll sort of push out all of that breezy air just for a couple of days. You might see a few wind gusts tomorrow morning, but nothing like what we've experienced today. We could even see some wind tomorrow night going into Monday. The story story is still in place for those red flag warnings that we have out for the central portions or central portions of New Mexico for that fire danger. Tonight's a beautiful night. Many have tickets to head out to the home opener for the United and it looks like the temperatures are going to be quite nice. Mild at the uh, start of the match, but through the night, those temperatures drop in. By the time you head home, it will be quite chilly. Here's where we're headed for tomorrow. Sunshine and warmer. Many of us in the upper 60s and lower 70s. We could even see some 80s across those southern zones for Las Cruces and for TRC. Overall, though, I think we're headed for a pretty nice trend, a warming one. The northwest forecast has a few spatters of cloud cover, but these are fair weather clouds. Not expecting any rain for Farmington for Sunday and into Monday. We might bring in a little opportunity for a scattered shower on Tuesday, but check out the temperatures in the upper 70s by Monday afternoon. Southwest, not too bad. A cool morning start for many in the 40s, but by the time we get to the afternoon, 70s and 80s across the board. 72 forecast high for Silver City for tomorrow, but the winds eventually will dial back. We have a front coming on the way, and that's going to change things up Tuesday into Wednesday. Roswell, not bad for the 70s and 80s for the most part in the next three days, but will continue to increase our cloud cover along the way. We've been watching Las Vegas where we've had some fire danger earlier this week, but overall I think we're headed for a nice quiet stretch in that region and Santa Fe looks to be sunny tomorrow. Go ahead with those weekend plans. We'll be in the 60s. Overall, the seven day forecast is looking pretty good for most of us. The numbers keep going up all the way up to 80 degrees by Monday, but the adjustment comes with the front. We cool down on Thursday and we will be very windy on Wednesday afternoon.